One, two, three, four. Hello, everybody. Welcome to E cubed, the video. One, two, three, four. That's the lesson number. Yeah, this is the expression number 1,234. Can you believe it? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're still going. We're still going. It's 2020, March of 2020, and we are still going. March 11th, right? March 11th. Uh, today we have a great expression. It is putting the cart before the horse. Putting the cart before the horse. Mm, this is an old expression. What does it mean? Well, we, we've got a horse and then a cart. Check out the picture. Okay, so uh, we see uh, here's the horse and here's a cart. And wait a minute. The cart, right? should be behind the horse, and then the horse can pull the cart, right? It doesn't work this way. The cart needs to be behind the horse, not in front of the horse. Now, another way to say in front of is before. So this guy, he's pretty stupid. He put the cart in front of the horse, or as we say, he put the cart before the horse. And that's not good. It's not going to work. Whatever you're trying to do, if you put the cart before the horse, you're doing something before it can be actually done. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And in the dialogue today, I have a really funny example. It's actually perfect. And then after the dialogue, I'll give you a few more examples, all right? So again, the expression is, and I'll show it to you one more time. Get out of your picture, go! There we go. Putting the cart before the horse. Enjoy the dialogue. How was Costco? Oh, crazy. People are going nuts over toilet paper, fighting to buy more. They're worried about the coronavirus. Yeah, but the food shelves are all completely full. Just the TP. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great conversation. So once again, this is March. What's the day? March 11th, 2020. And right now we have that coronavirus, COVID-19. What do they call it? The Wuhan vi uh, virus, the Wu flu. There's lots of names for it. Um, it's scaring a lot of people. A lot of people have died. It's serious. Right now, my understanding is things are getting much better in China, but still other countries like Italy uh, having lots of problems. Uh, United States, the situation, uh, they're worried. They think it might get more and more serious. So yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy right now. People in America, and I know in Australia and other countries too, Hong Kong too, people are really worried and scared and they do strange things. And right now around the world, as far as I know, in many of the uh, Western countries, uh, once again, United States, Australia, uh, Hong Kong for sure, people are buying all the toilet paper. It's like really insanity. They're buying tons and tons of toilet paper. What are they going to do with all that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're going to use it and like make a mask with the toilet paper. I'm not really sure what they're going to do. Obviously, there's one thing you do with toilet paper. But why do you need so much toilet paper? So that's what the conversation is about. That's inspiration. So how is Costco? Costco is a big store. It's a big warehouse store. So if you buy, for example, toilet paper at Costco, you cannot buy one roll. You cannot buy four rolls. You have to buy like 36 rolls or 48 rolls. Okay. It's, it's a warehouse. You have to buy large quantities. When you buy ketchup, you don't just buy one little ketchup. You have to buy a big, huge ketchup. Okay. This is the idea of a Costco. It's very cheap, but you have to buy a lot. Uh, so how was Costco? The guy says, crazy. Costco was crazy. People are going nuts. People are going crazy over toilet paper. They're going crazy about toilet paper. Fighting to buy more. It's true. They're actually fighting to buy more. It must be the guy's wife. She says, 
They're worried. The people that are going crazy, they're worried about the coronavirus. We have to understand. They're just scared. And the guy says, yeah, I understand that. But the food shelves are all completely full. There's tons and tons of food. Just the TP. People are only going crazy about the TP. TP, the toilet paper. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. See, my understanding is the use, the usage of toilet paper is to clean your butt. But in order to need to clean your butt, you need to eat a lot of food. So you eat a lot of food, then you use the toilet paper. You eat a lot of food, then you use a little more toilet paper. You need a lot more food uh, than you do toilet paper, generally. But once again, in America, it's the opposite. People have tons of toilet paper and no food. People are walking out of Costco with, you know, 200 rolls of toilet paper and no food. Are they gonna? Oh, are they gonna eat the toilet paper? Is there a new toilet paper diet? Are they building houses with toilet paper? Are they donating the toilet paper? Does the coronavirus give you diarrhea, so you need lots of toilet paper? Yeah, I'm really confused about the toilet paper thing. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, it's a great example. In order to use the toilet paper, you need to eat the food. But the people are already buying the toilet paper and not the food. That's putting the cart before the heart, horse. Another example. I'm going to start my own business. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to uh sell something. I'm going to sell mice. Little, you know, computer mice. It's going to be fantastic. Yes. And I know where I can get them, and I have a great idea for a design. It's going to be perfect. So the first thing I do, I make business cards. I make business cards. Coach Shane, the mouse man. Mouseman.com. I make business cards, and then I send them to everybody. I don't even have a mouse. I don't have a business license. I don't have a website, but I have business cards. A lot of people when they start a business, they tend to put the cart before the horse. Before they even have a product, they have an idea for a product, but before they actually have a product, before they even tested the product, they have a company name, they have a design for their business, they have a product name, they have a, a business plan, a marketing plan, an office plan, they buy office furniture. People love the idea of having a business, but doing a business is not easy. They are putting the cart before the horse. Uh, I remember a long time ago, I was thinking about buying a house and I found the perfect house. So what did I do? Before buying the house, I you could go online and get the plans for the house, you know, the, the design of the house each floor in each room and I redesigned the entire house. Oh, this is this is a bedroom now, but I'm going to make it into a larger bathroom. And over here, I'm going to expand the kitchen. And over here, I want to do this and I want to I had all these great ideas on what I was going to do to this house. Perfect plans, beautiful plans, even the cost. But I never bought the house. So again, I was putting the cart before the horse. I have to have the house before I can redesign everything. You have to have a product that's going to sell before you need a business card. You have to eat food before you use toilet paper. Don't put the cart before the horse. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a long video, but I hope that you enjoyed it. You see, this is the type of thing we do in, in DDM. Lots of detail, lots of funny stories and background and stuff like that. So I hope, I hope to see you join us in DDM or PERF, our speaking class, the two best 
classes online, there's no question. You can try them for free. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. It's right here, right, right down here, written right there. If you have any questions, send us an email, right? Here's the email address, help at letsmasterenglish.com. So it's a, it's a fantastic place. And we have so many live classes. So we send you the lessons. You study the lessons whenever you want. You know, morning, noon, night, a little bit in the morning, a little bit at night, not today, tomorrow, whatever. You study the lessons whenever you want. And then we have live lessons, live classes. You can join any of the live classes. Uh, you can join all of the live classes for the same price. It's really incredible. And for some students, they don't want any live I don't want live classes. I hate live classes. I don't have time. God damn it. Uh, we have that, too. There's a no live classes version, too. Of course, it's less expensive. It's the best. The B-E-S-T is the best. Uh, that's it. Let'smasterenglish.com slash free. Check out the dialogue two more times. And together, let's master English. How was Costco? Oh, crazy. People are going nuts over toilet paper fighting to buy more. They're worried about the coronavirus. Yeah, but the food shelves are all completely full. Just the TP. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. How was Costco? Oh, crazy. People are going nuts over toilet paper, fighting to buy more. They're worried about the coronavirus. Yeah, but the food shelves are all completely full. Just the TP. Talk about putting the cart before the horse.